All right, so for the last part of this is that we need to basically trim um, this using this surface and these surfaces right here to get rid of every one of those, every part of this, the inside of these surfaces. All right, so there's a reason why I created this surface around this area right here is to basically use that to cut and trim all of this material out. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to do one of them and I want you to go back and do the same thing to do it for the rest or the other five parts, okay? So let me go ahead and do that real quick for you. So we'll go ahead and get started by going to Create, Surfaces, Trim, and there's three options for trim. You can trim to surface, which is means surface to surface, by selecting two surfaces. You can trim to a curve, curve meaning geometry. So you can select a geometry to trim from, and you can trim to a plane. So you can select an XYZ plane to trim from, okay? We're gonna use the surfaces for this one. So go ahead and select two surfaces. The first surface we're gonna select are three actually. So the first set of surfaces is gonna be one, two, and right here there's a little bit more three, don't forget to grab it. So there's three surfaces and hit enter. Select the second set of surfaces and that's gonna be the surface that we just created over here and then hit enter. So there's gonna be your surface uh, trim options for the surface to surface. And we'll start from here. So the first surface and second surface, those are the surfaces that we've selected. Uh, keep and delete. So you can actually choose if you wanna keep your main surface that you just selected or delete it. We're gonna keep it delete, all right? So here you have the option of keeping your first uh, set of options that you've created, working with the, with the second to trim or keep them, or both of them. We're gonna keep it both, all right? And so there's an options over here also to split model and multiple model. Now, if you choose to split the model, uh, you can actually split using with multiple regions. And we do have multiple regions over here, so we wanna make sure that this is also checked. Now, uh, this option right here, the extend curves to edges. Now, say you've created a curve that's all around this edge right here, and you can do that by going to, uh, I'll show you how to do that later, by create curves and curves at intersection. It allows you to choose two surfaces and that will allow it to create a curve on its own around those surfaces. You can use that as well, so there's nothing wrong with using it that way, all right? But for us, we're gonna keep it surface to surface, and it will, basically, the f feature over here will extend that geometry a little bit more to make sure that it cuts all the way through your part. Now, we'll keep that unchecked because we're not really using that at the moment. Now, also, there's use current construction attributes uh, you can either use the attributes that you're using uh, over here by clicking on that, or use the default ones for this feature by keeping them un unchecked, all right? So what you wanna do is now is indicate area to keep. So I'm gonna scroll down, and I like to actually click once. I'm gonna come over here, click once to the area on the outside, and then again on the area that's on the inside, and nothing, it seems like nothing happened. Now, but if I click on okay, and come over here, you're gonna see that this surface now is separated. See how it highlights only this area instead of the rest of the area? So this surface is now cut off from the rest of the area, and on top over here, you also notice that they're all separate. You will also notice that this area right here is separate than this area. Remember, if I click on one of the areas over here, how it highlights all of them, or if I click on this area right here highlights all of them, but only up to here because it cuts it, because it cuts through it, but it keeps going all the way on the left side. So see the difference between one that is trimmed geometry over here and one that is not, it selects all of it. Same thing over here, I only select this part right here, but when I come over here, it selects all of it, the inside and the outside. So what you wanna do now is select one, two, and three, just the inside parts and hit the delete button. And that will delete that geometry, but not just that. Go ahead and select the outer edge over here now and hit delete, and that deletes that as well. So what you've basically done is you split, you separated the inner surface over here from the, all the rest that were connected to it, which leaves you with this surface over here. So easy enough, sounds like it's very easy to do. So go ahead and practice on all five. And so when I start the next video, which is gonna be the setup for this part, uh, these will all be complete, okay? So go ahead and finish off the rest of those uh, five parts to make sure that they all look like this.